time around, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of heartache. I mean, we've ended in a heartache. <laughs> there's going to be a resolution of some of that. But I think what you're going to find as well is a lot of growth. You're going to see some new characters. Uh, more uh, some characters that were smaller in the first season that are now bigger and more established and more interesting and more alive. Um, I think the, the you know I go it's Namanya household uh, goes through a lot of changes. Um, I think Mandlakazi is challenged to be a different kind of parent or maybe even a better parent. I'm not sure. Nambita is confused. That means Mandlakazi is confused. <laughs> With Mandlagazi, for example, um, there was falling apart of the family towards the end of the first season. A situation where she thought she had things under control and then it just, when the secret, big secret came out, everything fell apart. The children did not want to be with each other. It, it, it was just too much hamors, if you will allow. So now, the Skukukazi, the mother hen in Mandlagazi, wants to bring the family back together. And with all the pain and heartache that was caused in you know, the end of the first season, how is that gonna happen? Everybody's gonna be transformed. Everybody's gonna have to grow in order for that to come back into being, in, to come into fruition. So I think as far as Mandlakazi is concerned right now is how to parent differently, how to love your children in such a way that they continue to remember themselves in your absence. Or does she have to keep everything, you know, <laughs> keep in touch and, you know, at 40 years old, keep spanking at children? I don't know. One thing that I have, you know, that we, I was blessed with in the previous season is working with colleagues that get up to excel. Colleagues that wake up to, to look down on mediocrity. You know, the sky is a yardstick, not the limit, you know. And that all has come back in season two. And it's just amazing to get up in the morning and go to work with people that are committed to what they're doing, that are interested in what they're doing, that are generous enough to give you the space to do what you gotta do and trust that you will give them that space as well in return. It's, it's a blessing. I think she is a hot mess. <laughs> She's a disaster zone. She's one of the craziest people you'll ever meet. And she is, I think, one of the best mothers I've ever had the privilege of playing. I think um, the, a person that can have that much love. And a lot of people say she doesn't see her children's mistakes. She sees them. She loves her children through their mistakes. She loves them enough to offer them a place of safety after they've made the biggest mistakes of their lives. Each and every one of the children know they can go home. To have a parent like that, I think it's a blessing. And for me, to be able to play a character like that, she, 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 she's, she's a diva, she's a goddess.